All right, so it's the 4th of March. This is late coming, thanks to uh, Royal Mail. So yeah, oh, that pull tab worked excellently, didn't it? It doesn't help that uh, whoever packed this at HMV uh, put tape over the pull tab. That, that doesn't help, so let's try and get this off without cutting myself. So yeah, this is going to be either one of two albums, and that that was meant to come at. That was meant to be delivered on Friday, but then I got an email saying, "Oh yeah, that album. Yeah, we're going to delay it to Saturday, and then we're going to delay it until Monday." So I'm just checking to make sure this is all right. Yep, I'm going to peel off that uh, HMV order number sticker. There we go. So, this is uh, Liam Gallagher, Jonathan Square's uh, album, which is just called that. Liam Gallagher, Jonathan Square. So, yeah, this is a collaboration album, and technically Liam Gallagher's, well, if, if you include it as his solo work, then it's his uh, fourth solo album. And uh, it says exclusive white vinyl. Although, uh, this is available at several places. Uh, this one was from HMV. Though I have seen it, I think, I swear I've seen it somewhere else in that as well. But uh, yeah, there's various uh, versions. Including a uh, Zeritope or Zoetope, whatever you want to call it, edition, which I should be getting at some point. No download code and that in there. I miss the days actually uh, when records used to come with a download code. We get a massive booklet there. Or was that a poster? I don't know. I'll have a look at that in a second. We shall have a look at the record itself, which is in a paper sleeve. Ooh, there we go. God, I can feel, I can feel the static of this actually coming off. It's a lot of static, which I'm going to put it in an anti static sleeve. It's very thin. It's very, very thin, which is a shame. That is extremely thin, actually, yeah. That's one of the thinnest records I've ever had. Actually, it's incredibly thin. Which is a shame, because when they're very thin, they're much more subsidable to warping, unfortunately. So, yeah, I was hoping this would be, you know, maybe 140 grams, but, uh, yeah, this is probably, like, the 120 grams and that. I mean preferably 180 grams is the best heavyweight vinyl because they're less susceptible to warping and it also means since they're thicker they can generally have uh, deeper grooves in that as well. So yeah slightly disappoints in there. Yeah I haven't actually listened to this album yet. I do have a digital copy of it already because I had a feeling that uh, the record itself wasn't going to have one. Well I pretty much knew for certain at that point, uh, but I haven't listened to it yet, and the reason is is because I want it, it the first time to listen to it to be on vinyl. Uh, no cassette release this time around, interestingly, yeah. No cassette release of uh, this album in any shape or form. So yeah, th yeah, this is a poster. This is a poster, and um, so there we go. There we go, yeah. Most of Liam Gallagher's albums and that uh, have come with posters and that so far. And this one being no exception. And that's, that's a nice thing if you want to put that uh, on your wall or something. Me personally, I like to just uh, keep them back in there because uh, I don't really have any wall space in that for weeks. But uh, yeah, the only two tracks I have heard uh, from this album are the ones that have already been released singles. So, yeah, it'll be interesting listening to uh, the full thing. And uh, hopefully there'll be another Live at Nedworth uh, release or some sort of live version released next year on vinyl. God, trying to get this in the sleeve is a bloody nightmare. There we go.
God, it doesn't want to go in this sleeve. I really hate, you know what, I'll fart on with this off camera. I really hate these vinyl sleeves I've got. Uh, I need to get some better ones, unfortunately I want to use them before they all go away. So, but yeah, there we go people, there we go.